So I had to go back to jail because the curse of YOU DIDN'T FINISH A BOOK IN JAIL YOU'LL BE BACK TO FINISH IT SOONER OR LATER finally caught up with me. What book didn't I finish? Fucking The Fountainhead, it was a goddamn snorefest and I started it with two days left on my sentence and sorry I couldn't finish all three, four, eight, nine, oh, two, three thousand trillion billion pages of it. I think I got to like 400 in and I don't even know how I managed that. Oh wait, yeah I do. JAIL! Anyway, so I get back, give up my bracelets, my D's, my bow tie, put them all in a little cubby for safekeeping. When I get back, out, which is in six weeks, six weeks for not reading 600 pages of crap, what kind of system do I live in? As soon as I get in the yard, everyone's playing Steal the Bacon. Sweet! I love Steal the Bacon, so I line up with a side and run right in and grab that fucking bacon like there's the biggest pork shortage in history. I score a point for our team, but I also run into some stupid fence and accidentally unlatch it. This girl. This girl with curly bangs that are probably a foot long but they conveniently end right above her eyebrows and she curled them so hard. This girl is like, you open my gate! No one opens my gate! This girl's hair dye is running. You really shouldn't use cheap red hair dye on a hot day, but I'm not going back and, and I'm, not, I'm not back to get on anyone's bad side. I just need to finish this piece of shit book. No one opens my gate! Do you hear me? Listen, I'll close it. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Oh! She didn't know! She didn't know! That's it! You're fucked! I'm going to make your life hell! So this girl, whose hair dye runs more and more and her face gets more and more red, not like tomato face, but I just ran a mile like cherry race car red. She just starts fucking with me. She steals my food. She spills milk all over my only set of clothes. She tries to get people to kick my ass, but they refuse since I am a wonderful princess. I guess that pissed her off pretty bad. So I'm on my bunk and I'm trying to finish the fountainhead so I can get the fuck out of here. And she sees me reading it. Oh god, you're reading the fountainhead? What are you, some kind of object to fist? Objectivist? No, I'm fucking not. Shut up, you're dead. No, dude, I hate Ayn Rand. I just want to get out of here. No way. My mom read her and she never bought me Christmas presents again. For the next few days, I see her with a hairdryer, melting a toothbrush and sanding it down on the steps. So I fucking buckle. I tell a guard that this shit, this girl, she's going to stab me, and she's going to stab me because I'm reading this dumb fucking book. The red bleed head comes up with this huge girl, and they've got toothbrushes akimbo. They're like, we're gonna get you killed, you're gonna kill this guard. And I'm like, no, and grab the guard under my arm and start jumping all over the jail, bouncing around like those little balls in a spray paint can, just getting stabbed over and over and over again. Fuck you, Ayn Rand! Death's dream guest appearance. I had a dream where we were at a Kago Shintaro show. There was a toilet in the gallery room. I really had to use the bathroom, so I took a shit in it. I figured it would be in the spirit of the thing. Hers is better.